forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to the next night, Alpha 18. As you guys can see, we are in this big uh, town of here. I already cleared out most of the zombies of here with my pistol of here, the laser pistol. And I used about 100 rounds just now, I'm making sure I don't make too much noise because we don't want to draw all this stuff. As you guys can see, it's just a wasteland of here. There's nothing out here. So it actually makes it really, really creepy. Now, another reason why I took out all these zombies already is we want to see what's underneath. We don't want to see what's on top. So as you guys can see, there are four gun safes over here. We can actually go for that. Um, these zombies dropped a few things over here. There's munitions chest over here. We do get a ton of these. That's another reason to go for these military bunkers early on. So you can get the research notes. But what we are going to be doing is going to go to the back over here. There's another zombie here somewhere. I can hear something. Is it a spider? Is it a normal zombie? If it's a spider, it might just call more zombies. Okay. So as you guys can see, if you look at the bunker like this, it's this one over here. So we're just going to uh, crouch down over here, just open up a little bit. Over here, as you guys can see, this is the hatch. Now we go down the hatch, but I'm going to make sure we close the hatch behind us. So nothing can follow us in, or if they try, then at least they have to try to follow us. We don't want too many zombies knowing we're over here. So we're mostly going to be crouching. Unfortunately, I don't have any silences on my coil rifle, so we're going to make a ton of noise now. But let's just do this. I want to put these away. I'm going to put the cards in front. The red cards I will add later. Because they're actually guns that you don't really... Uh, they're cards you use later on in the game. What I could perhaps do is this. Then we know where it is. If we die, I want the motorcycle on me. That's why I have it there. And as we get lower and lower, I'm going to start, add, uh, start adding these to my belt over here. Now, we don't really need to see the time. It is now... 6 o'clock in the morning. So we can actually do this and then grab these. So should we need to block off a road? Now, unfortunately, we only have 10 blocks, so we don't really want to waste any. Okay, there are zombies up top they have to wait out for, watch out for. Now, this is blue, so you have to use the blue marker. And then some zombies are trying to get down to us, it seems. Now, can I... It's a shame I haven't maxed this out yet. If I maxed out the laser gun, I'd be able to get through all these doors, no problem at all. Now we just need to watch out for any behemoths and stuff. That's why I want to see if I can use the laser pistol as much as possible. And only if necessary, like with this guy, we start actually using the gun. Um, it's a shame we didn't actually have the silencer. If we had a silencer, we wouldn't have to worry right now. Okay, is there a body bag in here? Nope, but there is a demon upstairs or downstairs. Downstairs, it's underneath us. Guys, I do apologize if the frame rate drops severely. Unfortunately, I can't fix that at all. Okay, so there's a hallway down that side, but we're going to go this side. And let's clear out this place. Any, come on, any body bags you need to destroy? I wonder if the demons are up top, or if they're down here somewhere. The ones exploding, they have to be on, uh, on top. Let's just hope they don't manage to find a way into us, that's going to suck. Okay, any body bags, any sleepers? Nope. We need to make sure we clear out this whole place before we really face the tough zombies. And that's going to be the challenge. Now this is just a normal door. Unlock. Ooh, look at all the loot over here. Okay, all the ones that uh, uh, have stuff on them, you can actually loot. Like have lids. These without lids, obviously they're empty. Now, this is a green card. Let's open this up. Um, That sounded really, really close to me just now. Hello. New zombies. I, sh I should actually click all of these up or just drop it if I don't need it. Now, the only thing I'm really worried about is the demons, guys. Um, the demons, and then obviously the behemoths, if there are a ton of them, and I run out of ammo. That's a big reason why I brought two guns. If you have two guns, you don't have to reload. You can just switch to the other one, and then you have more ammo. If I'm not mistaken, the uh, behemoths start showing a little bit uh, lower on. Man, they're definitely hearing me somewhere. I think I just spawned a shitstorm without actually realizing it. All of those zombies underneath. They're following me, so there's going to come a room over here where I'm going to face a ton of zombies. Yep, they're following. Let's just do this. We've already cleared this. Let's just see if we can close this door. There you go. If it's closed, they can't break through it. They have to have keys like us to be able to do it. Ooh, someone's breaking doors. We have to watch out now. Hello, hello, hello. If I can take them out without making noise, I'm doing so. They should lose interest in me if I don't make too much noise. Come on. Guys, I'm really nervous about what's going to come. These first few floors are easy. But with my game stage being as high as, as it is now, it's it's really quickly going to turn into a shitstorm. Oh, there's a behemoth. Oh, there's a behemoth. Hello. 
And he glitched through the door. At least the behemoths don't spawn with tons of health. They spawn with really, really low health, so that helps you out a bit. Uh, but yeah, so that's not an excuse. If there's a ton of them, or there's a demon or something, who are screwed. Oh, they just gave me a fright. Now this is a green card, and that is a mutant's night stalk over there. Wait, wrong card. Use this one. There you go. And we should probably kill this guy quickly. Nice. Now there should be zombies over there as well, so let's just quickly run in over here. There's no one over here. Hello, hello, hello. Yep. They are coming towards me. That's a problem now. So many zombies heard me somehow. So all of them are coming to me without me actually provoking them. And we're gonna do this. Should actually make sure we lock these doors behind us and kill the zombies before we lock doors. Okay, now I'm looking for any body bags. Anything that might be able to allow zombies to respawn. We don't want that happening. Okay, now this corpse is in the way, I think. I can't get through there. Okay, so what's over here? Lock door. Ooh, oops, 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 oops. Okay, I need to watch out for that. Where does this all lead to? This, these are all weird chambers that I don't really know about. And reload. But now, why are some of these doorways so blocked? Is it that guy's corpse that is blocking it right now? now I'm just going to loot all these bags because there might be something awesome in there. Not necessary, but there might be, so let's just do that. Okay, and now, I should have actually looted this place as we go through it. Because there seems to be a quite a few rooms over here that I haven't really explored. Man, there's so many zombies everywhere. See, there's still a few more to this side that I need to clear out now before I can go to that side over there. I think that's how you go downstairs. Just want to make sure we get all the rooms over here first. No, that's how we get downstairs. That's going to get really hectic really fast. Okay, so the demon's underneath us. They're trying to vomit through the floors towards us. Now, what's this side then, if that's the way down? Really curious. These must be the bathrooms. There shouldn't be any zombies down here. The fact that they're making so much noise is really bothering me at the moment, guys. They're not supposed to be doing this much damage. I mean, how did the ones underneath actually hear me? You can actually see they're trying to vomit to the floor over here. Which means there's going to be a ton of demons down there. M uh, easily hundreds. So we just need to make sure all our guns are reloaded. We do have our uh, junk turret as well, should we need to actually have some help. But I don't think it's going to help us that much. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing over here. They're definitely coming up towards me, so I need to watch out for that. Yep, just look at all those zombies. Damn, okay, so we're going to drop this one. Man, there's a ton of zombies. We can actually fire from over here. We can kill quite a few from over here because they're standing on top of each other. Ooh, there's a demon. Oh, no, that's not just normal demons. I thought it might be a boss demon already. Okay, so I should take. Ooh, they're vomiting through the door. Let's just do this then. We're gonna do this. We're gonna open it up and just fire our oh, it's content. This is what kind of door? I'm not quite sure what door this is, but that makes it really tough. Um, it might be a blue door, I think. I need to jump up here to safety as soon as I have this door open. Let's see. No, it's a red one. Okay, we're just gonna do this. And let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we let a few through, we kill them, let a few through, kill them. The turret should help us over here. Man, they're stacking on top of us. Look at all this zombies over here. I need to actually open this door up and shoot them because at the moment I'm gonna run out of ammo. Let's just make sure we do this, do this, do this, just shoot into the crowd, shoot into the crowd. Reload, run, 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 get to safety. We need to make sure they don't hit us with all that vomit. There are so many bags over there spawning new and new and new zombies, you have to watch out for that. Okay, can I kill them without them vomiting, please? They're gonna projectile vomit on us soon, so we need to clear out this fast. Okay, we can quickly close this off. Man, just look at all this loot. I should actually drop my whole inventory in one of these bags behind me. Just so we know we're not uh, too encumbered. So we're going to do this. And just drop all the stuff we don't need right now. Like, everything we're not using, we're going to drop in here. As you guys can see, there's already so much loot. And this container itself had a purple sword in, which is awesome. So we're going to do this. This. There you go. 
Okay, so now we uh, cleared the noise that was coming from over here. And as you guys saw, <laughs> there was a ton of zombies. That's not even the tough part yet. It's, it's only going to get hard from now on. I need to close all these doors behind me so they can't follow me if they respawn on top. There shouldn't be any more zombies up top over here. But you don't want to take a chance of something surprising you from behind. Yeah, it seems there's a few zombies still there. Let's go. Is this a last floor? I think it is. No, it's not the last. This is the last one. Just to make sure this is closed. Oh, we can't even close that. That sucks. Okay, so red one over here. And I hate the fact that the door opens on its own. I mean, I know I'm close by, but I mean, that could easily kill me just now. Okay, close this door. There you go. Hello. Any body bags over here? We need to make sure there's no body bags at all. Any body bags and zombies might be able to get us from behind as well, and we don't want that. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring the rocket. I wanted to bring a rocket with me so that I could shoot the demon gate, but now we're going to have to farm that demon gate until completion. It doesn't look like there's any bags over there. And look at all this loot. All these guys are dropping mad loot over here. Okay, let's do this, do this. Quickly drop it over here, make sure this is closed. It's actually bad going back and forth like this because now more and more zombies are starting to spawn behind me. So I should really just first clear the place out and then loot. But some of this, uh, these guys are really dropping awesome loot. So you don't want to lose out on any of that. Okay, reloaded. Reloaded. Ooh, ooh, hello. Just watch out for any demon or any behemoth of here. So this is still open, we need to watch out for this. Hello. Sometimes they glitch through the doors, so you have to be really careful of stuff like that. Is this lost room? I think it is. It's definitely a lost room, so we need to do this. To make sure they can't easily get to me, then we can quickly clear this room. And then kill the demons over there. We're gonna farm the hell out of that place over there. Um, don't destroy the fleet. Ooh, there's still zombies over here. Let's just first make sure we have this place cleared. Any corpses we see, we need to destroy. Oh, hello. Okay, so I should be able to kill these quite fast. Let's go for this one first. She's the boss. And at least the other one's not waking up. So that's helping us insanely. There you go. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay, we're just going to close this door. So nothing can interfere with us. We're going to take this one out. And now all the zombies that can surprise us are gone. And this one glitched or jumped over. Now we can do this, which is nice. Except if they jump over like this guy above us. But we can farm this whole place like so. Now it seems that demons can't get through for some reason. I don't know why. I really wanted to have this closer by so we can actually see over there. But now I place all these blocks here out of fear. So this is going to cost me. Now as you guys can see... Oh, no, 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 no. Kill, 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 kill. For the, uh, for the demons over there, we have to shoot them with this first. And then we're able to kill them with this pistol. If you don't do that first, they just keep healing and healing and healing themselves. And there's a few of them. You can actually see that. I really regret the fact that I didn't bring my rocket launcher with. If I brought explosives with, I could actually get them from over here. Okay, let's just get them with a the pistol over there a little bit. There's actually quite a few of these guys, so I need to be careful. There are so many demon uh, incubi over there. It's called the uh, demon incubus. I think, I don't know if it's, if it's the demon gate or if there's also another spawner in there, but I know something in there is actually causing them to keep on spawning and spawning and spawning. I can just keep destroying these incubus zombies. It should have helped me an insane amount. I need to stand back a little bit. I need to be able to see. Okay, so let's just get the, rid of the cops over there. Um, zoom out. Oh crap. If that zombie has... Ooh, I'm on fire, I think. I just wanted to say, if that zombie has to explode, I'm screwed. Okay, so let's just get that red uh, regeneration down. Turn to this one, and shoot, 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 shoot. Kill the incubus, kill the incubus. Come on. He's so close, just 186 HP left. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead, nice. See guys, this is a nice way, you can just, you can farm and farm if you bring some XP drinks as well. You can just keep farming this room over and over and over again. It'll shame those bags on the way, because then I can place a few blocks in front of the door, perhaps. And keep on going. There's another incubus over there. Damn. 
I just have to shoot him once with this so I can make sure I kill him with this. The normal ones don't regenerate fast enough, but these incubus zombies, guys, if you do not do them with a the laser uh, weapon first, they just keep regening un up until 22,000 HP. And then it gets really, really hectic. Just look at all of this. Man, this looks like Horde Knights on its own. I hope the waves stop on their own after a while. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to destroy that demon gate or not. If I am, this is going to go on for way too long. At least I should be able to jump over this thing that I placed over here. Because of my high jumping ability. So that's one nice thing. I can just, if I wanted to, go in there and check and then just run back if I wanted to. Damn, all of these guys are demons. Not one is just radiated or something. Come on, kill all of you guys. There are so many, they just don't stop. I want to see what it looks like in there when they start spawning. But I'm just afraid that they're going to vomit and kill me or something. I mean, especially if an incubus hits you, your HP is going down fast. Okay, there's another one over there. Let's look at this, guys. I want to show you guys his HP. 22,000. And it's actually regening insanely fast now because I accidentally shot him. But if you first do this, and then you kill him, all of a sudden it's so easy to kill him. And it's nice when they walk past accidentally. Their heads are where I'm shooting the incubus zombies, so every time they do that, it's so easy for me to kill them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I'm actually basically critting their heads. We should make sure we kill these so they don't regen. I should actually be hitting all of them with the, um, what do you call it? With the laser weapon. Kill, 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 kill. That was way too close. I should be hitting all of these guys with a laser weapon or just make a stronger laser weapon so I just, I can focus on killing these guys. My laser weapons are running out and then I won't be able to kill the incubus zombies anymore, the demons anymore. I keep saying incubus uh, zombie but it's not a zombie at all. It's a badass demon boss. And his regen has not been cut off. Let's just do that, switch to this one. Oh crap, 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 crap. They're actually starting to do some serious damage to these blocks over here and these are titanium blocks. They still have to, after this, do a ton of damage to really take them out. But still, okay, let's see. As you guys can see, that thing over there is falling more and more and more the whole time. There has to be a way to destroy that, so you have to break that thing over there. The problem is, there's so, there's so many demons over there, as you guys can see. The demon gate's not stopping soon. And that's very bad for us. Very, very bad for us. Okay, I just hope we don't run out of ammo, guys. We have 14,000 rounds left. If I'm not mistaken, this is wavebound. Um, I hope. If it's not wavebound, then I do have to go kill or destroy that gate. But I have no idea how I'm going to destroy it. I don't know where to hit it to destroy it. I don't know if it's exactly like the rest. You just have to hit it on the arms. Or how else to actually make that thing go boom. Otherwise, they're just going to keep respawning, respawning, respawning. At least I only have to hit the Incubus Demon once. Uh, to block off its generation. So that way you can save up on your, come on, energy cells. Whatever this is called again. Yeah, energy cell. So as you guys can hear, there is a screamer zombie upstairs that's not quite happy with me. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that right now. And, and that means when I get up there, there's going to be an insane amount of zombies waiting for me anyways. So I need to place my bike and just go. Come on, shoot his legs, shoot his arms. Is he dead? Ooh, there's a cop over there. If I can make a crop explode over there, that's going to help me. You will suffer. So this guy also talks. Let's just do that. He's stuck over there. And now we can actually take him out easily. There you go. Okay, so I need to destroy this, I think. Uh, I'm just not sure how to go about destroying it. Oh yeah, you have to destroy it like so. Nice. And then you can loot it. That is awesome. Okay, so finally the zombies will stop coming after me, guys. But I mean, the lag, the stats and everything is just so insane right now. But yeah, this is the big bunker. Let's really see how much loot we can get. Unfortunately, we won't be able to loot everything because the inventory is going to be so full. And we can't traverse the one level to the other with a motorcycle. That would be awesome. If you could uh, drive around with the motorcycle in here and just that way use the storage on your bike. At the moment, we're not going to have any space for anything over here. Nope, I don't want the fusion forge. I want this. What is the frame rate like in here? Whoa, 22 frames per second. That is really insanely low. I was wondering what was talking like that. There was a demon standing in the corner of here getting stuck. 
Oh man, look at all these de this demon loot. This was technically like a horde night, guys, because usually during horde night, all those bags that drop are from demons and from behemoths and stuff. That's what gives such uh, such good loot. And then this time around, it's just they will keep on spawning and spawning and spawning. And it's good for us. Okay, so. I need to actually run back and forth. I wonder if I should just make this a speed uh, speed thing. Where I go to the top floor, drop everything off, and then come back down to the most bottom floor and start looting from the bottom again. Which, I mean, just look how encumbered we are. There's no space over here at all, and that's a big problem at the moment. Uh, stuff that I'm not going to use at all, I can just well chuck for now. But the rest of the stuff... Ooh, they are breaking through, it seems. You can actually hear blocks breaking. I didn't even know that was possible. If they manage to get all the way down here, I might have another problem, just like with the amount of zombies we just had. And that's not gonna... Ooh, look at all these bags! That's not gonna be the best for us. Now guys, we can technically just leave all this loot over here. Uh, early game, obviously, you want as much as this loot, uh, as, of this loot as you can. But we are set. We still have 30,000 ammo, we still have a ton of ammo at the base. We could technically loot all this stuff for more solar cells and stuff, or energy cells, but we already have over a thousand at the base, so there's really no reason for us to loot anything over here. I know it's a massive waste of loot, I mean, just look at all this stuff. Where is the streamer? It's actually bothering me. I'm just quickly want to see what's upstairs, and then we have to place our bike and go. We need to leave as soon as possible. So I want to see, if we drop like this, what are we dropping? I wanted to bring my rocket and these uh, rocket launcher ammo so I can destroy that uh, demon gate, but now we have to face the whole demon gate because I forgot. Okay, so we should be able to do that. Anything in there that's mine? Nope. Uh, this I might just use for generic skill notes, but we're not going to go to the traders or anything else like that, so it's really no point in looting any of this. So we're just going to do this, this, this. The pistols I might just take. So get myself a level 80 pistol. So in case during the horde we really need to face zombies or our demons, we do have a ton of pistol ammo, and we have the best laser pistol out there. I could always just make my own combiner, but I mean, if we can get some of here, why not? It's just going to help us out in the long run. Okay, let's go up. As we loot, we're just going to look for uh, the pistols. So then it gives us an excuse to loot the place, but we only want the pistols from this place. I hope she didn't break in somewhere. If this streamer actually sees me and she screams... Although I think they already scream, they saw me from above, so if I go out there, it's going to be a bloodbath. I just have this feeling there's a ton of zombies waiting for me up there. Guys, I do apologize for this frame rate, it is really bad, even for me. Uh, but I mean, we are done with this place anyway, so there's no point in fixing the uh, frame rate right now. Let's see, anything over here. Just need solar uh, energy cells and pistols. They are definitely breaking in. I think they're trying to break in beside this thing. Like, dig down in places where it's vulnerable or something. It's totally possible. We should technically grab all the bookcases, but that's really not as important at the moment. Anything else? Oh, yes. Nice. Okay, so if we were to do the other big bunker, guys, then we'd obviously need all the stuff that I'm leaving right now. But even then, we're not really going to need any of this stuff. And I just realized there was a laser workbench downstairs. We could have combined these guns that we already have. But I didn't do that. I forgot about that. See, the next door over here. They actually broke down. They're trying to break through to me. But there's no vulnerable space, so they're all stuck in the ground. So I should be able to make it out of here quite easily, I think. It's not going to be really, really easy because I think there's a ton of zombies upstairs. But if I can just get my uh, bag or my motorcycle down, I'll be able to get to safety. Any stuff over here that I can loot? I just feel, I feel like I'm going to around the corner and all of a sudden there's just going to be uh, zombies everywhere. There's some up here, some in the, they're in the, definitely in the walls. They're back here in the walls. They dug down into the stone and now they're in the side. So I hope they can't get out. If they can't get out, I'm going to be able to get away quite easily. The only problem obviously is going to be this lag, guys. This insane amount of lag right now. If I can't place my bike, then I can't get to safety. And now these rooms over here should also have some solar cells and stuff. Or energy cells. I don't know why I keep saying solar cells. Solar cells are for the power supply. Man, they're trying to break to the side of here. You can just hear how much or how many zombies this uh, Screamer or two has actually spawned. And they in return spawned even more and more and more Screamers. So it's a bloodbath up there. I just have this feeling as soon as I leave here, I'm going to, one, struggle to get out. And two, if I get out, I'm going to have to face a few zombies to be able to get away. At least my, you know, let's just do this. Motorcycle next to my gun. So it's easy to get to it and let's just repair these guns. So now we're ready to face any zombies. It's going to suck if there is a wall that's broken or something and they can get in and I just don't notice it. Damn guys, look at the frame rate. Let's try this. 
Nope, not helping at all. My frame rate is horrid. It's, I think the uh, amount of zombies upstairs, that's what's causing all this lag. This is way too many. Ooh, did they destroy something down here, it seems? It feels like they're all around me over here. I need to watch out. Okay, now this is going to be the tough part. Uh, I think they're going to try getting down this swarm over here. Just look at my frames, guys. 10 frames per second. This is horrid. You know, we just need to run far away enough. So it'll be a, it's a safety over here. Now this is going to be the tough part. Wish me luck. If I can't get away from here and place my uh, motorcycle, we are screwed. Man, the, the frame rate's really not helping much. Crouch, 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 get out. No, no, don't crouch, don't crouch. Ooh, there are dogs and bears and everything over here. I just need to get far away uh, enough to actually place my bike and then we can go. Man, the frame rate is bad. Okay, guys, I'm just going to call it an episode here. As you guys can see, the game's about to break. There's just way too many demons and zombies and stuff that's been spawned over here right now. And that's actually breaking the game. Look at that, 10 frames per second. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? How would you have done the big bunker? Any tips for me? Anything at all? Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time during the series finale.